So we all assess our students in our classrooms on a regular basis. And sometimes assessing our kids can be a bit of a chore. You know, whether we're using a Scantron or we're using a handwritten worksheet or document or uh, assessment, it can be a bit of a challenge. But what if we could use, say, a Google Form and that Google Form graded itself? Well, Google has just released quizzes in Google Forms, and in this three-minute problem solver, I'm going to show you how to set that up and how to use them in your classroom. My name is Jerry Switek. You can find me on Twitter. I am Jay Switek. It's J-S-W-I-A-T-E-K on Twitter. So I'm signed into my Google account already, and I'm just in my Google Drive. I'm going to click on New, go to More, and select forms. I'm just going to create a form as I would any other form. So here I'm going to go ahead and put in the name of the quiz. We'll call this uh, assessment. And I'm going to give uh, this uh, question number one. And we'll add a couple of options. You'll notice that the form looks no different than any other Google form. So where do we make this a quiz? Well, up here in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on this gear. And that's going to bring us in settings. Here in settings, we're going to click on the quizzes tab. Here is where we make this form a quiz. So we have a couple of options in here. I can immediately release the grade to the student once they submit their quiz or choose to not give them their grade. I can also choose whether or not I want the students to see the questions they missed or the questions they got right or see the point values. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of that selected, just the defaults, and click on Save. So now you'll notice here that I have an answer key button has appeared. So for each of these questions, I have to tell Google Forms which is the correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Answer Key. In this case, let's choose option number two. I can also assign it a point value, let's give it five points, and then I can add answer feedback. So if my student gets the answer wrong, I can provide feedback. If they get the answer correct, I can provide them some other type of feedback. Uh, you know, congratulations, well done, you know, give them some motivation. Let's add another question. I can also create these self-grading quizzes by using checkboxes. So here's question two. Let's add a couple of options. Once again, I need to choose the correct answer. In this case, let's make it option one, assign it a point value, and let's add a third question type in the self-grading quiz, and that's a drop-down. So this will be question three. We'll add a couple of additional options here, assign our answer, and assign a point value. So once I'm finished building my quiz and adding my answers, I simply click on send in the upper right hand corner. I can then email this to my students if I want to, or I can click on the link to provide the link to my students, or I can even embed this right into my class website or my class blog. In this case though, I'm going to copy the URL, pop over here to a new tab. I want to show you what this looks like. So here's our quiz. You can see five points for each question. Let's go ahead and answer this questions very quickly here and submit. And you can see here that it says our response has been recorded here. We can view our score. And there we are. We see the answers we got right, our total points, the answer we got wrong. And it shows us the correct answer. So that's how we can take those assessments. Sometimes a bit of a challenge using Google Apps for Education, using Google Apps. This is available for all Google accounts. We can take those plain Google Forms and turn them into self-grading quizzes. My name is Jerry Switek. Again, on Twitter, it is J-S-W-I-A-T-E-K. This was your 3-Minute Problem Solver.